Hi YouTube, welcome back to Cage of Shadows. I'm Cage and you're watching Let's Play Valkyrie, episode 4. Right, last time we left it off, we had just finished doing some business in Whiterun, um, handed a bounty, and we were trying to debate what to do about the main quest. We are now level 9. Um, I've got the Dragon Stone, but using alternative life, I need to actually go up to Helgen and kickstart it all. Um, so I think we're going to go that way, but to be honest guys, I wouldn't actually mind finding a dungeon and doing a bit more combat for you guys, you know. Um, the bandits were a little easy and a little lacklustre. So I'm going to quickly... I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Jorland Greymane's got that honour. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Of course. Time to uh, get my gear improved again. Um, I help my father in more ways than people realize. And that just sounds creepy as well. Last time we, um, we got 190 gold for the bounty and we just spent 170 re smithing at our gear. So, um, not exactly the most efficient bounty in the world, was it? Uh. I'm just trying to think if there's any decent dungeons up near Helgen. I don't actually know that. There's large areas of the of the of the map that I just don't know still. Um, for all my game time playing, uh, there's definitely been some pieces that I've missed. Right, I have no idea where that is. It's my horse. That's interesting. The screen fade of the EMB isn't actually dark enough. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not great. Oh well. Oh no, I know why. It's, it's because I've uh, turned the brightness up for you guys, because I'm hoping um, it'll be a lot better for you. I've actually only just uploaded episode 1 to YouTube um, yesterday, so we got to have a look at it, and yeah, it's uh, pretty dark, um, so if you did hang around and you got to episode 4, I do appreciate it. Um, you know, some teeth and problems, it's my first set of videos, so. Tick tock, hello little guards. These are the guards that arrested me for no apparent reason huh? last time. I actually uh, looked back on the video, I think it's because I killed the wanderer, the bard. You know, I think he attacked me personally. Um, you know, there may have been a, a loose sword swing, but he didn't have to come then and start attacking me with his weird, wacky new perma weapons I got added, so. Oh well. My first bounty. Looks. I have no idea what's going on here, folks. Alright. Hand over your valuables. Or I'll gut you like a fish. Piss off. Well, I uh, can see you're not one to be trifled with. Let this be a warning to you. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> Malik. It does not matter to Malik how strong or smart one is. It only matters what one can do. Thank you, Malik, for that piece of wisdom. Come on, Amelia. Let's continue on. Right. Oh, knows. I should actually... I want to find some bandits just so we can kill them and get a bow. Because if I am going to start the main quest, it's... The dragon you can kill is kind of cheap. But One second, guys. Just going to sneeze. And we're back. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, the dragon that you kickstart the main quest on doesn't really need to be taken down by archery yourself because you have all the guards around you, but it does feel a little cheap as far as the victories go. Um, I think I've got a journal. Follow up rumors. What? I don't want to run all up to Windhelm or Solitude to seek out that. Can't I just run up to Helgen and find the... Right. 
let's just let's go to Helgen and, and see what it what happens. I usually use um, Skyrim Unbound. Is one I've used more often. Hello, wolves. Come on, jump. Kill cam, bosh. Awesome. Uh, these rich wolves. No, no. Not rich wolves. Um, I'll try grime music. I want to see if I can cast while mounted. Oh, awesome, I can. Go away. I'm not going to use those guardian stones because I have the Patronal stone and I have my class from Sky Tweak. The only bad thing with Forgotten Magic's um, armors is that um, the shaders it puts on. I really don't like the shaders. Normally there's a dead body there, but maybe I need to go to Helgen first for Alduin to fly out. Um, I I I more than you. I'll kill you if I have to. Um, alright, that's a full sworn anyway. I'm just gonna leave up alone. Because I have no idea what they're up they're doing. Combat's ended. Let's save this here because I don't know what's going to happen approaching Helgen. Oh, there goes Alduin, people. Dragon! <laughs> Fuck off. Go away. I don't want to fight you yet. You're way too powerful. There we go. Oh no, I have got footprints, just, I can barely see them. I'm not sure if you guys were able to see that even. Right. What does the journal say next? Find the dragon's victims inside hell. Oh. Well, let's go and look inside Helgen. of Helgen. Oh dear. Is anyone left alive? Um, you stay there. going that way. Damn. Amelia, I need to move. Come on. There we go. Good girl. Mm. It's a lot of destruction. Oh, there's a charred corpse. Body turns as you touch it. Somehow a leather journal survives intact. Isn't that convenient? Alright. Adventurous journal. I'll read this to you guys if you think this is right. A good thing or to skip it in the future. You know, let me know. Twelfth of last seed. Hard to believe I filled up the whole journal already. I never realised how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, it's so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. 
I'll send the other general ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we've recovered. 14th of last seed. I've received word from the contacts of Skyrim. All, see all seems quiet for now. Probably for the first time since High King Torg was killed, I should be able to make my crossing quietly enough during the night, so long as there's no Imperial patrols to deal with. Lol. 15th. So much for being discreet. I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen and made my way up to Darkwater Water Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area has filled with Imperial patrols. There seem it seems they are searching for someone, someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim, but I'm crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad idea. I woke up early this morning when an Imperial sword pressed to my neck. The patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they're taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety old nag. At least they let me keep my journal for now. 17th. Shaw's bones, if only I had known sooner. The ambush, the captives in the cart with me, Stormcloak rebels! Led by none other than Ulthric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd not even been here to write this down. Yes, a dragon. Big, black, as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped in out of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tullius uh, didn't take my head today, or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels. But that doesn't matter now. Had Van and Rodolf set set aside the differences long enough to help me and a few others escape alive. Only the three of us made it this far. They've gone back into the keep to keep the other, help the other survivors, but I've been asked to get a warning to Riverwood as fast as possible. I still can't believe it. A dragon. Straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. So, you saw a dragon. You survived the dragon. You then took ten minutes, five minutes out of your escape to River One, uh, Riverwood to write your journal. Priorities. <laughs> right. A dragon. I saw a dragon. Right, I also can't drive a horse. Okay. Where you failed, sir, I shall succeed. I shall deliver this message to River Run. River Wood. River Wood and White Run. I will get it right, I promise. Alright. Uh. I don't know if it's because they're a little later in the evening, and that sounds like bandits. Shit, let's save this. That's close enough. Close enough. <gasps> You're your worst. No. Where's the other one gone? Oh, that shit's right in front of me. Fucking hell. Yeah. Are you prepared to die? Where did you come from? Butcher. Whoa. Pray to Stendar. Oh, bollocks. I didn't realize I was free of them. Problem is, I saved it just so I got off my horse. Right. That's close enough. That's yes. Close enough. Look at the mighty hero running away from bandits. That's close enough. Strange. Okay, I'm just gonna leave them, guys. Um. Do you know where there's a little dungeon with a word wall? Not too far from here. We're gonna go and try it. The problem being that 
it's actually really difficult with enemies, um, Revenge of the Enemies. Uh, it's one of the early dungeons I normally... Get away, spider. Yeah. <laughs> Vigilance. That spider was quite tough, actually. Come on, Amelia. Oh, good view. Well, there we go. Let's just go and find this dungeon. For all the time I've played this game, I've explored very little outside of the sort of uh, main quests. Done Duck Brotherhood a couple of times done the Mages Colleges a couple of times, done Companions once, uh, never bothered in the Thieves Guild because it just doesn't interest me. Skeever. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Who are you? Mm, huh? And there's a bunny room. Oh, not another mage. Fuck off. Ages. That hurt. <laughs> you were just a high elf. Why aren't you a freaking ass? It sounds like. Oh, who else is after me? This is the end for you. Where the hell are you? They sound really close. Oh right. Oh, it's a hunter. Jesus. You want, what are you shooting at? A tree? I what? can t Where are you? Yeah, that, that's what I've got. That's what I'm asking. Exactly the same. What are you shooting at, woman? No idea. Right. There you are. Oh, she's found something. Congratulations. Right. Um, I don't really care for that. Right. Now, there should be some sort of Nordic ruin up ahead on the left, which we are going to dive into. Right, and with this Atronach stone now, my magicka is regenerating very slowly. Right. Someone there. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, horse. Go away. <laughs> Don't you dare get back up, skeleton. No, good. Hmm. Actually, well, I'm going to save it before we go in here, and I'm also going to check out. You save. Um, forgotten magic to see how we're doing on the actual progress. Uh, halfway there, and holy boat, not. Man, that's slow. Actually, I wonder what track progress does. Spell. Right. Something's not right. 
<laughs> Here you yeah. are. Okay, I'm just sitting there wailing on this person and not doing a thing. Uh, the only thing I can think of What's is... That? You dare to interfere with... Oh. Ah. 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 Fucking hell. Ah. Ah. Yes, I'm stripping the bodies, because... Alright, lantern. There we go. Alright, we can see what we're doing. Yoink. Useful. Um, what's this? Still gauntlets. Right. We've got level up. We are now level 10. We're in double digits, people. Oh, yeah. Um... Health or stamina? I think stamina's actually needed more at the moment. Right, I cannot get a respite yet. I've got two perks. I saved one. Is my block skill high enough? Nope. That's not block. I still don't have... It. My block skill hasn't gone up since last time. Oh, damn it. Um, I think light weaponry. I have no idea what this does, so let's just go for it. Should we go for a bit more just killing power? Yeah, come on, let's just go for killing power. I don't know what it does. Really, these fluffy perks are a bit useless. Alright, let's save it. See, to me, guys, um, I've got AMB's Dark Dungeons on because that's what um, the texture pack recommends. But then, at the moment, this is so light that it kind of takes the uh, atmosphere out of it. Anyway, and now my block still goes up. That is absolutely bloody typical. Bastard. spider webs <laughs> All right. and lots of skeletons I hear See them. Damn audio oh, is actually really quite creepy. And I can hear them. Um, and they're nowhere near me, I don't think. So I, but I can really hear them. Um, which is really disconcerting. Um, not many spiders in there. 
There. Alright, so behind door number three. Just miss me. Yeah, he did. Come on, you bastard. Right, continue forward some more. Um yeah, that um looks painful. Let's uh not trigger that. No, I thought I had a mod on to make the trap slightly subtler. Obviously, I was wrong. Oh, hello. Ow. I can hear them. Where are they? Not there, obviously. Uh, let's save this. I'm bound to die. You know, these things often happen. I just really light more. Oh, that's a very bright shot. Not your best, huh? You need to do better than that. Fight guys. Bandit Woman of the Hammer. Yeah. Right, fine. Fine still Nord Helm. Look at this lovely torture room we have here, and we have some jewels. Any other jewels? Nope, just the one that you leave a ruby lying on the floor, you know, like you do. Starting to feel the difference of that, um, or ox stone though. What we got? Uh, Grace of Device, that's cool. Now I'll come back. That's an alternative way out. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm starting to feel this or ox stone a bit more. My magic is regenerating very slowly, but I do have a decent amount of it now at least. Um, I'm loving this grimy tool as being able to actually cast heal on myself when I'm in. When I've got my sword and shield out, I should be able to cast a heal spell instead of having to rely on potions. It's pretty awesome. Um, hey, casting lots of shadows. Not great. Alright. Now, I'll give this a go sort of three times. And if not, I'm going to come back to it later because... Um, you know, I know from experience there's a very hard ass vampire in this room with Revenge of the Enemies just makes him an absolute nightmare to fight. Um I will actually do that. Um, huh? Go away. Do I really want to go in there? Got something to say? No, I'm dead. You will and truly kill me. <laughs> okay, guys. Attempt number one, and I just got my ass kicked. Alright, you, Magicka. Let's favorite that again. Oh, 
Is someone there? Yep. I'm not even going to bother for attempt number three, guys. That, you know, that fight was over like that. I can't beat that guy. Right. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I, I, I may be wussing out to a fight, but that's just pointless. <laughs> right. So, you know, this is me at level 10. I cheated to get every armor, and I can't even get close on that guy. Jeez, Louise. That's, yeah. And there's not much else I can do, I don't think, you know. Go in. Auroch Stone absorbs some of that, some of that life drain immediately. Um, you know, bashed him to stop him casting, and it still didn't help, did it? Damn. Okay, we're just... We're going to finish up here, and I think we're going to ride to... Uh, Riverwood got it right that time you see <laughs> and um, tell them about the dragon I think um, my undead hunting skills obviously need work because um, I just got my butt kicked by that vampire hmm. look that's full grief uh oh whoa Dwegar stand it now. oh fuck off Actually gonna die. Oh, I'm actually gonna die now. There we go. Fuck off. Wow. I'm moving extra slow. I'm not sure why at the moment. There we go. A bit more reveal. Yeah, that hurt. I almost died to Dwega. Dwega. I think it's Dwega. I think it's pronounced. Elven Claw. Uh, Get out of here and get my horse back. Back off, it hurts. Just absorb that <laughs> that shout. Awesome. All right, and uh, I got a little pop up during that fight in the top corner, saying progress 82%. So I assume that meant my heal. There you go, progress 84%. Cool. That's useful. Just to remind me to actually check up on it. Hmm, skull. Right. Uh, horse call. again and let's just return to Riverwood. I'm quite low on mana. Yeah the Auroch. Oh there's somebody trying to sneak up on me I think. Were you a hunter? You must be a hunter because you didn't pay me any any attention. Oh you know I, I don't go around around murdering just any old random people, so we shall uh, spiders. Fucking hell! 
Wind Spider, die! Alright, time to cheat. And I've been poisoned. Damn it. Lock. Replenish. Damn it. That was a bloody hard fight. What the hell? Is that? No, not for some... I hovered over something. Oh, the woodsman friend. What's the woodsman's friend? Nope, it's just a. Alright, where's Amelia? Alright. That bloody hurt. Let's turn the travel out and off as well. Wow, frostbite spiders. Painful. You know, there's a. I guess there is a reason why Nords don't like them, huh? You know, you see in the law and the all the law based loading screens how terrible and stuff they are. I think that just proves it. Am I going in the right direction? Investigate. Well, you mean I can't just go and investigate the cave mitch or warn the residents? Let's go and warn the residents. You know, there's a friggin' dragon on, on the loose. You know. Who's whispering? Um, you know, I had a little detour into a dungeon and I failed. So now it's time to go and warn the residents. Huh? Or about the freaking big dragon that just, I think, flew over their village. It's also getting quite late. Um, we're hungry and thirsty. We're not sleepy yet. Yeah, my mana's not recharging at all at the moment, is it? Oh well, price to pay. Full spell absorption chance, which has saved my butt a couple of times now. Come a on. dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons Good now, dog. is it? Please, mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all and then you'll believe me. <laughs> you look sick. I hope it's not contagious. Oh. What's wrong with me now? Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. Whatever you need. Buy you smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Obviously you had your head down. What? Dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. What did you think it was instead then? You're right. I saw it. Didn't want to believe my own eyes is all. A dragon. Here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. I. My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. I'm his assistant. I need mean apprentice. Whatever. Right. I need to run to to run to tell the R. It's now seven o'clock. Good dog. Uh, I suppose, you know, the road may be more da dangerous at night, but a dragon really does, uh, I think, it's special circumstances, so we shall ride. And we will probably take a shortcut this time. We've done the road once, we're going to go over it 
and down the bank on the other side of this rise because it's a little quicker. Those, that sort of bird swarm that just went over the, the crest of the hill here, they flew really fast. Oh. Oh. Okay, Amelia's running too fast for him. Good. A couple of uh, patchy storm clouds off in the distance. Sky there coming in. Demo. Alright, what we'll do is we'll also grab some gear off Amelia to sell. Let's just get them. trouble in white run and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. You guards are arseholes. You already arrested me once for no apparent reason. Mm, pardon me, everybody. probably going to do is go up and tell Bulgruff about the dragon and then I'm not I might go and talk to his court wizard but I'm not going to give him the dragon soon yet because one Battle thing leads to another give me your money. I, I, don't have I know your money. family's Damn, that was important to you but we can't afford it it took me weeks to find that thieves den I can't stop now and I can't get the sword on my own so you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. <laughs> if you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Right. Ah, Ladies, could you spare a coin? I don't like yes? this, but have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Bye. I alone have been anointed by the ninth to spread his holy word. Crazy man. Talos the mighty. Talos the unerring. Talos the unassailable. To you we give That's pretty um Start contrast that galaxy line. Um, this is enhanced night sky, but that's a little um, fakeish. <laughs> it's not quite how uh, you ever see the galaxy light in real life. You, yeah, no. It's usually not quite that crystal clear. <laughs> There's no telling what it means. What would you have me do then? Nothing? My lord. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not I receiving just visitors. We act. I just... As Housecarl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. A dragon. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yep. 
by Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... This is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. No, you'll sit idly by. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Yes. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. No, I didn't. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Right. There is More another armor. thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. I'm a messenger. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. and suggestion to turn his thoughts to the war. You're his steward. He'll listen to you. Yes, Arnold. Leave me out of your intrigues, Hrongar. If you have something to say to the Jarl, say it with your own tongue. Right. I cannot move any faster than this, guys, because he gave me more armor and now I'm overburdened. Yay. Must walk faster. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. He just said so. Yes, I could use Idiot. someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Okay. Ah. No mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, no, when the stories of dragons began to Retired. circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Uh, should we just give it to him and get it over and done with, guys? Don't really want to. No, nope, you're not having You know, it. if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. Mm, ah, teach restoration. the Dragon Stone of Bleak oh, Falls you Barrow. Shit. Seems you are a cut above the usual brute the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Right. Wait for me. Come, Come to Dragon's Reap. Take a look. I want to sell stuff to you so I can move. Yoink, yoink. And I'm still overweight. Oh, crying out loud. Yes, I know. Get rid of that. Uh. All right then. Far and gone. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? You know, how oh, exciting. Name. Where was it seen? Where'd you go? What was it doing? Oh, right. I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't. For some reason that chest isn't marked as, uh, loot as, uh, sealable. Go that we way. can stop it. There we go. Let's right, go. We can move. I have just realized kicking off this, I'm gonna be fighting a dragon at night as well. 
So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Who's humming? Oh, that's Preventive, right. Shut up. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, we'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I <laughs> haven't dare. forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And Privilege. please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I'm not going to be able to move again, am I? You should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. Boots of the dolphin. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. What do they do? Assume swimminess. Increase some swim. Okay. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. Right. As you command. I have a suspicion I'm going to die a lot, and I didn't get a bow. So I'm going to have to be a wuss and wait for them to ground the dragon and then jump in at the last minute and kill still. Wow, I feel heroic. We'll also see how many times I die, people. Oh, it's proper night as well. Um, I want to see if I'm hungry. Jesus. Damage output reduced by 20% because I'm hungry. And magic regeneration reduced by... Bloody hell, no wonder it's taken forever. Right, eat bread and drink. Hang on, Irileth, look. I've got to eat. If I'm going to fight a dragon, I've got to do it on a full stomach. I'm a patient woman. Eat some more bread. Sorry, Irileth. Still hungry. Alright, there we go. Alright. If I manage to kill this dragon, I'm having me a steak dinner. Maybe even dragon steak. Yeah. All right. And all the shops are shut, aren't they? I'm going to have to put all this gear back on Amelia. Yes. Oh, yeah. Here's the situation. A dragon Most trouble in White Run. Western and Watch I'll haul you into the dragon's reach. Oh, no. You're in for it. Go away. <clears throat> you heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking White Run. What's oh, house card? How can we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before, or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor-bound to fight it, even hey. if we fail. Mr. and Imperial Armour, do you want to help? Our families! Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, no so House Karl. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Emotional blackmail. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me! Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah! Damn yeah. right! Let's move out. Right, interesting speech. They're gonna do most of the killing because I haven't got a bloody, um... bow. I will probably use crossbows. 
I actually, I actually quite like crossbows. Um, it's just um, I don't feel right using crossbows yet on this character until the Doom Guard starts showing up, and that might be to a little later on. Because we have timing is everything, which um, and I've tweaked it so it's going to delay the start of sort of the DLC quest for a little bit, probably until we hit like 20 or so. Uh, so we've got some good time to get some traction on the main quest and just sort of get more involved. Alright. Um, let's save this. Because, you know, I'm sure we are going to die. Wayfarer is leveling up a fair chunk at the moment. Alright, I've never done this fight at night, so I must admit. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Let's save us. Here he comes again. Uh, what's the dragon? Oh shit, there's a dragon. Do not run straight at a fire breathing dragon, it hurts. Alright. I would love to find a bow because I don't really want to uh, use my magic to shoot holy bolts at this thing. Because one, I don't have the targeting reticle up when I use magic. It makes it a little difficult to judge where I'm going. And two, that's just bad. You haven't got any spare bows no, or anything, get back. have you? It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor on. just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Yeah, it'd be great if they if I could find their equipment. There. Let's save us. Here he comes again. Oh crap. I stuck. Uh. Yes, we've covered that. Jesus. This is just mental. Alright. Do I have a fire potion is the next question. No. <laughs> what a shock. No. Get back. It's still here somewhere. 
Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. If I could find their bodies, I would grab a bow off it. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. For those of you that are wondering why I'm, why this dragon is extra special, it's because I've got dragon combat overhaul on, and that's why this one's proven particularly difficult. So I think we spent so far ten minutes trying to do this. The problem is this is kind of a boss battle I can't really run away from. Um, where did that thing? I just recharged my mana. Where is it? Whoa! That guy. Hurry to him. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. All right. Well, that was a lesson in pain, wasn't it? Um, I'm gonna try and play some third person. See if that helps us. Jesus, when they when they take off, they knock you down even. That's it. That's all you've got. What? You can't defeat me. No, 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 no. I, my my health was actually pretty good there. That's not fair. What the fuck. I don't know how to beat this, guys. What I, will, <laughs> what I may well do is, uh, you may not have to sit through all of this. I may um, edit the video so um, you don't get to see my dozens of attempts at killing this goddamn dragon. mortals can provide. No. What? What just killed me? Bite attack or something like. Oh my god. Right. Where did I save that? Okay, I saved it. Right, guys, I'm gonna start um, quick saving midway through the fight if I think it's going well. Because this is getting ridiculous. Okay. Right. Save it mid-fight. 
Oh yeah. Oh, I have just lost what that is. I'm dead. <laughs> well, that was a that was a quick take, guys, wasn't it? This is ridiculous. Mortals can provide. Bashed him. You don't it. stand a chance. No, we don't. We've died so many times, it's ridiculous. <sighs> right, there he comes. Uh... Okay, that time my health didn't even move because I absorbed it with my aura. Stone. Interesting. My health bar doesn't move and yet I die. Is it just literally one shot? Uh, I can't get a bead on him. Oh, bomb. This is ridiculous, guys. I will definitely be editing this video to cut out all these failures. Oh, my God. 
off my horse. Amelia, no! Amelia, no! Amelia, no! Amelia, no! The second one. So Let's make sure that overgrown lizard is really dead. 
Damn good shooting, boys. Look at that. Everybody, get back! That's it. We finally I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. Right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Fools! Those born with the dragon blood in them, like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irileth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irileth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. Right. Uh, Look, short bow. Yay. Right. It auto saves. Absolutely. Right. Where the hell's my horse gone? Okay, folks. That was the uh, hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to white. I better unload some weight because I'm carrying a ton. Right away. Y'all about want to know what happened here. Well then, everybody, this is finally the end of this video. Um, the absolute crazy ass fight that I cheated through, I will fully admit that. That was, I've got a time ago in that fight, took about half an hour worth of reloads. And by the end of it, um, I think there was four dragons in frame simultaneously. I have no idea if that was an illusionary power of the dragon and a by dragon combat overhaul, or if you know he happens to call other dragons to him. Whatever it was, it hurt a lot, and I had to cheat to get through it. Hunting dragons at level 11 is not <laughs> a good idea. Right, I'm going to call it there guys, um, you know, scene of destruction and devastation, that is the end of episode 4, thanks for watching, we'll see, hopefully see everybody on next time, uh, when we'll go back to Whiterun, um, 
We'll tell Bogruff how we dealt the dragon completely. Honest, it was all us. And we'll take it from there. But we won't be hunting dragons for a while, I don't think, everybody. So, until next time, ciao.